Hey guys, how y'all doing? Hope you're having an amazing week. I got to spend a little bit of time this week being a hometown tourist, which is a bit of fun. My good friend Pete from Afternoons with Life got me onto the idea. He's been doing it on Instagram, just having a look at things that we would see every day, but from a tourist perspective. It is extra easy for me because I live in the McLaren Vale region, so I was able to stop in at Oliver's beautiful beautiful location if you get to pop down um, beautiful vineyards to look out over but the thing that I went for was olive oil for baby to use as moisturizer it is the best natural moisturizer for baby skin and it just lasts and lasts and lasts silly thing to get excited over but they have little little jars now uh, which just make life that little bit easier and then uh, a little bit later went to brace girdles had a mummy daughter date and we went and had baby chinos sometimes it's really nice to get out and see things from a purposely different perspective uh, but it has meant a lot of time in my car this week and that made me think about playlists for when i'm actually having this kid so something that i didn't really do with lucy was play a lot of music but it comes highly recommended you know have a nice playlist so uh, trying to think of what songs would you even put on a playlist um, I figured out for after baby's born what a difference a day makes probably at like a new one would be Ed Sheeran's perfect but for a while trying to actually bring baby into this world uh, all I could think was <laughs> um, once everything starts a bit of Justin Timberlake can't stop the feeling um, or even like just when it all starts to begin, a bit of Phil Collins in the air tonight. Otherwise, there is a point where it'll just be Imagine Dragons, whatever it takes. Speaking of whatever it takes, some exciting news in the world of cancer research was published a little earlier this month in the journal Nature Biotechnology, where researchers have now developed the world's first fully autonomous DNA robotic system for fighting cancers. Now, the exciting thing about this is it works on all kinds of tumours, so whether it's a brain tumour or, or colon cancer, so far they have not discovered any side effects and it actually works by targeting the blood supply rather than the tumor itself so basically my understanding is nanobots tiny tiny robots are designed to target a specific molecule that is made naturally in the body but in hugely lotsly extra amounts by tumors and so they go and they deliver their payload of and this is the cool part a DNA origami sheet which has a clotting agent in it they deliver the clotting agent the clots work I think it's over about three days it'll build up destroy the blood supply to the tumor the body naturally rinses out the robots and Bob's your uncle Martha, Martha's your aunt huge reduction in tumor or even complete removal of tumor They've been trialling this in mice, and the cool thing is that some of the mice actually went into full remission from the cancer. So, very exciting news, and hopefully we'll get to see this applied soon. Well, I've got to get back to it. It is very busy around here, but I will see you all next week. Have a great adventure.